so today we're going to mobilize her in a seated position with the KED or the Kendrick extrication device. Well, as always, we've got our PP on, our scene is safe. The patient is complaining of uh, some neck pain, maybe some upper back pain. I'm going to ask my partner, somebody, to come hold manual stabilization, as well as try and stabilize and uh, place head in a neutral position. So we'll be standing behind and holding on to her neck. We'll go ahead and palpate and see it. Looking for point tender on the spine, they will say yes, it hurts right there. And we're also checking for step offs or any other uh, deformities we feel in the neck. And then we're going to sit forward slightly for me so that way we can check the back. Normally, on the backboard, for the backboard, we log roll them onto the side, but in this case, they're seated, so we need to have them sit forward just slightly. I don't feel any creptus or steps offs in this instance, so we can go ahead and we will grab a collar have our collar ready we're going to assess our CMS now I'm going to squeeze my hands my fingers as hard as you can all right perfect uh, which finger am I holding ring finger which finger am I holding middle finger all right and I can check for radial pulse and I can also check cap refill I see it's good there ma'am go ahead and straighten out your legs for me pull up pull down all right am I rubbing or tapping rubbing rubbing or tapping tapping all right, we can check, we take shoes off, we check for our pedal pulse, we check cap refill. This time now we can put on a C collar. So of course, best way is we start with the chin after measuring appropriately. This is the uh, correct size for her. If it ever seems a little different, you can always uh, take undo it and adjust it slightly. Let's get those out of your face there. And of course, we still have somebody stabilizing the spine here. We'll grab our device it comes mostly in one piece. There are just a couple of pieces that we will apply later. I'm gonna have you sit forward. And with somebody holding, you try and work this device in and have them uh, spread their arms out. You make sure it's down behind them. You wanna make sure all your straps are pretty free and clear and easy. And we're going to start working on bringing everything together. Go ahead and lift your arms for me, ma'am. So we want to make sure we bring all our straps out and we have enough slack. And just like a regular one, start tightening. We'll wait to cinch down, but you want to make sure you have a little bit of tension in there just to help as you progress further and further down. All right, now that all three are tight. We can go ahead and start tensioning them more. Now I'm going to take a deep breath. Hold it there. Okay, breathe out. And go ahead and take another deep breath again and hold it. All right, breathe out. And one last time. And you can tighten it against a full breath so that they can make sure they've got a nice deep uh, breath if they need to take deep breaths. Now we take our last two straps and we're going to bring them down around the legs. Make sure they are correctly positioned so they can, you can get it clipped in appropriately. And sometimes you may have to slide it back and forth to get it up here into the Go. And we're going to pull and tension. We do the same on this side. Make sure your buckle is clear. Now we've got that nice and tight. We'll bring our straps over. And now with the person still holding the head, now we can go ahead and secure the head and neck. 
we bring this cushion. You have them depending on how far forward. Sometimes you can just slip just the top half, or if need be, we can fold it in half. What's more comfortable, fold it or? This is fine. Okay. So then we're going to take the nice head pad here. And we can take another one for the chin here and secure there if needed and if that's comfortable for them. Once we have fully secure, the person holding the head can let go. And we go and reassess our CMS. I'm going to have your hands, squeeze my fingers, all right. We, uh, check pulses, check cap refill. What, what fingers am I holding? This hand? Pinky. And this one? Middle. Ring. And then go ahead and pick up and push down. Check our pulses again, check cap refill. And you can, check, you can check toes, see which one, whatever, to check the sensory. Rubbing or tapping. Tapping. Rubber tapping. Rubbing. Tapping. Tapping. All right, and once we have that, you have your partner, you set up a backboard, it can be on your gurney already, and verbalize that we're moving a uh, patient to the backboard. You pick up, there's handles on here. Typically, you pick up the legs, and there's a handle right here on the side. You grab that, they're already fully secure. One, pick them up, put them down on the ground. Once that's uh, occurred, and you've got them laying on the, on the backboard, we need to release the white buckles here. And you let those just lay, lay out on the backboard. Okay?